Hey guys, welcome, welcome to my channel. Let's go ahead and do a no communication reading. Um, I know a lot of people really like uh, the no communication reading. Um, but if you are in communication with your divine masculine, just pull what I um, pull whatever is resonates for your situation and have it um, pertain or whatever relate to your situation. Be intuitively guided by this. Um, but for the most part, this is really going to be geared towards the no communication this is to help people who are um, wanting to know what is going on with the divine masculine. Let's just get started. What is the major energy of the Divine Masculine today, Spirit? On how he's feeling towards his Divine Femme. Wisdom. There is something that he's becoming more wise in. That he's working towards to release um, things that no longer serves him. It's like he's, sh he's shedding his grave clothes in wanting to resurrect and put on new clothes on like wanting to be a new person wanting to let go of things that are just dead and no longer serving a purpose in his life with this death card this is all about transformation um with endings there's new beginnings and he's in this process of releasing things um and it could be him releasing a karmic partner releasing things that no longer i keep saying no longer serves him but it is pretty much him trying to really do some healing work, doing some deep soul searching and um, dark night of the soul energy in order to have um, a deep spiritual connection with his divine femmes. And divine femmes, if you are working on healing and hiring your vibration, I feel like this is really helping the divine masculine in um, doing the same thing. He may be a little behind, but I feel like eventually he is he's ascending and trying to catch up. I feel like there's some kind of energy of him wanting to possibly leave a karmic partner, marriage, or situation of whatever he is in. Um, because I feel like he is wanting um, something that's more soul-fulfilling. And let's pull this. <clears throat> spirits and guides what else is going on with the divine masculine on how he's feeling towards the divine family spirit he is moving on what did i just say there is some kind of energy here that he's ready to move on from i feel like um the four of wands is an energy of marriage stability balance and i feel like there's something that he's trying to move on from there's something that he's ready to let go and leave but I feel like it's still in a process of releasing and letting go. It's not that easy. Um, and so I feel like for the Divine Femmes, if you are not in communication and you're kind of like, okay, um, what is going on with him? Do know he is trying to work on something. He is trying to see the light. He's trying to leave the darkness behind. There is growth in his future because I see leaves. Um because he is wanting some kind of balance back in his life. He's wanting stability. He is wanting a happy home, a happy life. Just because you are married or in a relationship, that doesn't mean that you're always happy and it's balanced perfectly. But I feel like there is something that he is ready to move forward in, in getting a balanced, stability life. Wow, and look at that, trapped in fear. You know, the Eight of Swords energy, swords represent our thoughts, our um, intellect, the working of our mind. Um, and so I feel like this is his energy of really um, being stuck in his thoughts. It's like he's, I feel like he's imprisoned and he doesn't know how to get out. But the sun is here. Like, I see like he is, he just needs to pick his head up. He needs to get out of that lack mentality and think that, um, he's out of that oh woe is me and really take some action to do some healing work in in finding himself in order to um, really see the light so why is wisdom here spirit oh, my cards is what in the world okay let's see why is wisdom here
to spirits and guys. Why is this down here? Why is wisdom here, Spirit? Why is the Hierophant card here? You know, the Hierophant is a marriage card, too. Yeah, and I feel like he's playing it safe. If he is in a karmic relationship or a marriage or a situation, he's having a hard time releasing because he's trying to play it safe. He's too afraid. He's trapped in fear and worrying. And, like, look, the fireworks is in behind him. It's... It's like he's not even trying to um, take the action to get to that point because I feel like he's in that victim mentality. He feels like, you know, like this is my life. It is what it is. And so I feel like the Divine Masculine really needs to work on releasing, finding himself. All I can say is finding himself because I think in that moment when he can go within, he will do some soul searching. He will meet that milestone, be able to take that extra step. And it's a process of arrival, but he has to get off his butt and take those steps. Why is wisdom here, spirit? Tell me more. And for some, I feel like there will be some kind of communication coming in. Um, because he is moving on. He is releasing something because he is wanting, maybe y'all have a kid together. Maybe y'all have a family together. It doesn't have to be, but, um, because, or he just really wants to get stability and balance back with his divine son because he knows that is the sole purpose, soul fulfilling energy that he has been longing and wishing for again. Why is wisdom here, spirit? What did I just say? The dark night of the soul. He has to purge. He has to go within. He has to um, really find himself. I feel like God has to meet him where he's at. Um, because there are some kind of inner child wounds, trauma that he has to heal from. I don't know if he has mommy daddy issues or if he never ha if he didn't have a great upbringing. And that could really cause some trauma growing up that he is reliving karmic cycles and he needs to get off that wheel and um, make a change. Why is wisdom here, spirit? Tell me more. Yeah, the world. This is all about completion of cycle, completing a cycle, ending things. And this is something that he really has to achieve in order to gain structure back in you and his relationship, he needs to set boundaries with ever, whatever karmic situation he is dealing with. But there's an energy of him needing to have some kind of deep spiritual soul searching um, action that he really needs to go within and take. Why is the Hierophant card wisdom here, spirit? Tell me more. Yeah. And see the two of swords a stalemate he needs to take the blindfold off and and take action but he's an indecision he's in a he knows the decision he needs to make but he's not doing it he's sitting down like he needs to get off his butt and take action he needs to get off his butt and put in that work and for some maybe it's financial restraints he's unable to do that because maybe he's too worried that he might have to pay child support or spousal support or whatever or it's just something that some kind of financial situation he's got going on but I feel like he knows what he needs to do he's looking at that ace of pentacle wanting a brand new grounded start beginning an abundant life but is he doing that no And look at the bottom of the deck. I just saw trauma. <laughs> Why is wisdom here, spirit? Yeah, I told you. It's a no. He's not. It's blocked. It's a, it's a dead end. And until he can really make a decision, take action, and finally move forward and get off that hamster wheel, um, he's not going to be able to... Um, release what he needs to do he's not going to be able to heal i 
All right, let's go ahead and see. What is release about spirit? Tell me more. What is release about spirit? Why is the death card transformation here? He knows in his gut what to do. Intuition. Listening to his intuition. He's not listening. He's not honoring his gut. Manifestation. He wants what he wants. And he's he wants he's manifesting something that he, he would like to have, but he's still sitting. He's just looking at it. Um, and he needs to really finally move forward because the Ascended Masters are here. They're here trying to push him out of his uncomfortable situation, having him to release his grave clothes, things that is no longer serving him, the old him. And finally, get into this energy of planning and taking action. And if he doesn't plan or take action, he's not going to be able to release and transform and move forward with the Divine Femmes. Why is release here, Spirit? Why is release here? Yeah, and look, see? The answer is always going to be no. Like, how many no's are we going to get? How many blocks, barriers, dead ends does he need to see in order to transform? You know, the hard head, it has to feel how hard it is sometimes. And it's just like, um, it's like he really needs to wake up and open up and see, like, whatever situation he's in, it's not serving him. It's it's causing a barrier in order for him to literally get on that horse and move forward. Why is release here, spirit? Tell me more. Yeah, the empress. He knows that there is some kind of abundance, happiness, pleasure with the divine femmes. I feel like you are in that crystal ball that he sees. If you look at it, it just looks like it mirrors each other. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> and he's visualizing you. He's manifesting you, Divine Femmes. But he really needs to take action. Get past these barriers, these doors, and really release things that no longer serves him. Why is release here, spirit? Tell me more. Yeah, he needs to get his wish fulfillment. Um, it's time to be mindful of where the energy he's putting in. Where is he giving to? Who is he giving to? Because whoever he is giving to is taking, taking, taking. Whether that is a karmic partner. It's, it's, a, it's unrequited love. It's not an equal give and take. And he's tired of always giving and not receiving or vice versa. Um, I feel like sometimes the Divine Femmes feel like they're tired of pouring all their heart and energy to the Divine Masculines and all he's doing is taking, taking, taking. But I feel like the Divine Masculines do want this Ace of Cups. They're holding it in their hand. They're, they're manifesting it. They want that wish fulfillment with their Divine Femmes. But at the current moment, they can't have an equal give and take. They can't really... Um, be able to be able to give at the moment until they can release if that makes any sense why is release your spirit yeah he has to trust that, that there is opportunity here that if he can just let go move forward take action that there is an opportunity here for a new beginning there is And I feel like it's just something like some kind of inner child wounds, that child, that trauma, I guess the car's gone, that, you know, like, maybe along the way, trust was broken, and so he has a hard time letting go and just trusting. So let's go ahead and see, why is moving on here, spirit? Tell me more. A consciousness of lack. Did I not just say that? A lack mentality. Um, and he knows that because it's it's on his conscious. Our consciousness, our conscious mind is the things that we know. Our subconscious is things that are kind of like 
uh, program in our brain that it kind of works behind scenes for us. <clears throat> it's just like he knows he needs to move on. He knows he needs to do that. But he's too either worried about financial restraints, flood of emotions, rocking the boat with the karmic. And his feet is on books. Like he knows the steps that he needs to take in order to become more wise and and do that. But I just feel like he is struggling on that. Because why? It's stuck energy. So Divine Femmes, if do know the Divine Masculines do want to move forward, want a union with you, want some kind of communication with you. But he can't at the moment because it's just something that he can't give to you at the moment. He can't even barely give to himself, let alone trying to pour into somebody else. He has to pour. He has to fill his cup of love first in order to pour into somebody else. But there is a consciousness of feeling stuck, feeling lack. Mm, what's the next card out? Oh. Why is moving on here, spirit? Tell me more. Why is moving on here? Something wanted to come out. Yeah. He's devoted to you, Femmes. There is a, a, a devotion here that he is, he still has for you. The fire is still burning for you. And he wants to move on and, and give you something. This man has his hand out like he wants to offer you something. Um, but he's having a hard time because of something. Wow, and these two cards fell out. You know, the, the signs all point to you, Femmes. There's that offer. I just said that. But he has to go through some kind of cycle. Dark night of the soul. And he has to break this karmic cycle. Karmic wheel, hamster wheel that he's in to move forward. But that takes action on his part. And Divine Femmes, honestly, I know there's really nothing you can do but just pray for them. Send them loving energy. Love them unconditionally um and love them from afar and love them at a distance because there's really some he's he's just kind of going through things at the moment and i understand some people are like well how long is he going through things well you know this is all about learning karmic lessons and he has to ascend and awaken himself from that and if he doesn't get it then people don't grow if they don't are not self-aware of the things that they need to work on why is moving on? Because he's stuck. Like, guys, the Divine Masculine is so stuck in his own thoughts. Um, he He's trying to find the strength, the courage to walk away, to, to move forward. Trying to tame the beast within. But he is stuck and, and is unable to really offer anything. It's just, there's that um, stuck energy right there, you know, feeling really stuck. So why is moving on here, spirit? Did I pull these cards already? Nope. <laughs> why is moving on here, spirit? Tell me more. Why is moving on here? Trauma. Yeah, he has trauma. He has a hard time receiving love from the Divine Femmes. A lot of the Divine Masculines run away from a good connection because they're so used to and being comfortable in, um, in toxicity. Because they're not used to connections feeling so good and great that they're like, this is too good to be true. They have a hard time receiving love. All right, why is foundation in achievements here? Why is four of wands here? Why is four of wands here? Yeah, there is something that he sees that you are deserving, Divine Femmes. He also knows he deserves better too. He wants this. He wants to be in this lovely energy of consciousness mind, conscious mind of being very deserving. He wants this balanced ability back in his life why is foundation and achievements here spirit yeah 
Yeah, he admires you, Divine Femmes. There's something that he admires. He knows you deserve this family life, this stability, this four of wands, twin flame, 1111 energy. But he can't get, he has to really work on himself. Like he really has to face his shadow side. Put the work in. Some of these divine masculines are not putting the work in, I'm telling you. And they're always going to be in that consciousness of lack and feeling stuck. Why is foundation and achievements here, spirit? Yeah, and they're in the middle of a season because they're stuck. They're being stubborn. They just need to, like it says at the bottom, that get it done. Get be in that purpose-driven mindset. Why is foundation and achievements here, spirit? Envision. He needs to manifest it. He needs. I feel like he is, but he is possibly envisioning you. He like he's seeing you as his future. He wants to create a life with you. It's a blank canvas, you know. Like he needs to have a fresh new start, but he needs to be open to receiving your love. Receiving the blessings that God in the universe is giving him. Paying attention to the signs. Taking the actions. Let's see what else is going on with the divine masculine spirit. Tell us more. What is going on with the divine masculine spirit? There's no communication. The Divine Masculine believes that y'all are truly meant to find each other. It says an invisible red cord around or linked to those that are de destined to meet one another in a certain situation or help each other in a certain way. And he needs to work on releasing cutting ties with a karmic partner, a karmic situation. It says, through painful, sometimes we need to see that a relationship is not serving us and ties need to be served. We cannot move forward to the next stage in our lives if there are forces holding us back. And look, waiting. It's like he's waiting for the perfect timing. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? And for some, the Divine Masculines are hoping that the Divine Femmes are going to be waiting for them to finally do what they need to do. His soul is tortured right now. Whatever situation, the dark night of the soul, it's torturing his soul. It says, endurance, you are worth fighting for. For the effort you put into life is what the person feels. This card represents a person who finds unity within the pleasures that pain can also give. No pain, no gain. It has long been said anything worth having is worth fighting for. And there is desire here that he still has for his divine femmes. What is this going on with the divine masculine? Well, he could be very guarded, very defensive. If the divine femmes are pushing him and wanting more from him it could cause him to be very cautious and guarded he could be really guarded in his feelings not really expressing to you but we do see his energy so he don't got to express it i can see it <laughs> he's wanting to take risk to get the romance the love that he wants but he has to make that jump. He has to follow his heart. Oh, what else is going on with the divine masculine? Building. And right now, you know, things are a mystery. But he wants to walk to that light. That's like that car that like, this moving on. In order for things to build and grow stronger and move forward and have a strong root, he has to walk through that door. He has to know um, his self-worth to move forward. And he really needs to go within and figure that out. All right, let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculine Spirit. Tell us more. What else is going on 
with the Divine Masculines on how they're feeling towards their Divine Fem Spirit. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? There's guilt here. I feel like he feels bad for whatever he has done to the Divine Femmes, whatever the waiting period, however he left, or however things have happened, ghosted, or whatever. Um, no communication. Do know there is guilt here. Um, and it's going to take some kind of patience. He could be impatient too, but um, like I said, the Divine Masculine needs to find their self-esteem, find their self-worth. He could feel guilt because he hasn't found that. Like that strength card, he needs to be courageous. Find his voice. Find, speak his truth. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine? Towards our Divine Femmes. He's blaming. He could either blame you. He could blame himself. I'm not quite sure. Take what resonates. Um, and that's why there's no perseverance here. It's like... His lack mentality does not help him to persevere, to help him to move forward, um, to get his mind right, to um, find that strength and courage to do what he needs to do because he's in that lack mentality, blaming victim mentality. And so I feel like there's going to be a hard time getting that success and that greater goal um, with the Divine Femmes if he, does, if he doesn't persevere and get out of that lack mentality. Because at the end of the day, like the car says, I accept responsibility for my well-being. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. Get out of that victim mentality. Oh, let's go ahead and see. Angel spirit sing. Tell us more. Spirit. Tell us more. travel for some there's going to be some kind of upcoming trip that's going to be life-changing in a positive way he may be able to find himself and so there's going to be some kind of forward movement it doesn't have to be travel per se but this is forward movement taking action a journey i don't know if you and the divine masculines are long distance there could be some kind of travel coming up what else is going on with the divine masculines um, that's that manifestation. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. Um, I definitely feel like you are a wish fulfillment, Divine Femmes. He has a butterfly here. He's still not mature yet. I see a child here. There's some kind of immaturity here, energy here, that he needs to transform and grow and be better. And I think that's just going to take patience. And, um surrendering giving him to god allowing the universe to work with him allowing him to go on his soul journey to figure it out what else is going on mm. for some someone might be pregnant um he may have a kid you might be pregnant i'm not quite sure he may want a child with you or you want a child with him or this is also just energy of rebirthing y'all's commitment. Um, rebirth, a, a rebirth, a, a new life, a new cycle with your divine femmes. What else is going on? Um, for some, there might be a daughter involved. Um, somebody might be pregnant and in spring you might be having a daughter. Um... But there is an energy here of a daughter. This isn't going to resonate for everybody, but this is going to pertain to somebody who is watching. Alright guys, I just want to give an advice for the Divine Femmes who are watching. What is What do the Divine Femmes for the collective need to, to surrender to the Divine Femmes? What do they need to surrender? Spirit, what advice do you have? Or the Divine Femmes who are watching, what do they need to surrender when it comes to their Divine Masculines in no communication spirit? Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. 
Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Guys, you know, enjoy your life. Um, be, be present. Take your focus off the divine masculines. Love yourself. Do something that's going to bring you happiness. Enjoy. Um, with like childlike wonder eyes. Ch children are so... Um, they're so stress free. They're resilient. They don't let a lot of things bother them. They just kind of um, move forward really quick and um, not really let themselves get so stressed out by a lot of things. And they're just so joyful and childlike and just fun. And so I feel like Spirit is just saying, find something to do that is going to make your soul happy. Whether that is meeting up some friends, um, doing a passion that you've been always wanting finally doing something work on your business your schooling what else do you have advice for divine femmes surrender denial accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions one more spirit like I just said, surrender stress. Stress is a number one killer. It ages you. It does you no good. Take a few de deep breaths and exhale the, exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Stress puts toxins in your body. I've heard something about stress also causes cancer. I don't know how true that is, but it does release toxins. It ages you. It makes you give you white hair. and It, just, it doesn't look good on you. And then the bottom of this deck is surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let it go of the results. Holding on too tightly, a desired outcome can sabotage it. Surrender. Surrender means releasing control. It's not easy because we want to control the outcome. We want to control the expectations that we want. No expectation, no disappointments. And it feels good to surrender because then you, you're just surrendering to peace, um, joy, and love. And just being that carefree energy of literally peace. Alright guys, much love.